Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday, so I will have my playlist linked down below. I am chatting over new makeup releases, my thoughts on them, and trying to decide if I'm going to pick them up or pass over them. And this week is a crazy busy week. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so yes, I feel like we have a lot to talk about this week. The last like two weeks, I wanna say, I feel like the releases kind of scaled back a little bit. My Will I Buy It videos, I think were like under 20 minutes, or maybe right at 20 minutes, which I was like, dang. And this one, I'm like, oh boy, how long is this gonna be? So here I am rambling. Makes sense. Okay, so first up, I got a bunch of tags. This was posted on UD Wendy's Instagram. She is a founding partner of Urban Decay Cosmetics. So I'll have the Instagram page listed down below because I didn't see it yet on the actual Urban Decay Instagram page. Uh, so she says, these are on the run mini eyeshadow palettes and they're coming soon. She said, inspired by the Born to Run palette, but I always wanted something even smaller for quick getaways and it's coming in December. So I don't see a price on them, but all of these are eight pan palettes and then they each have a different color theme and I am so into these. Okay, so first up, I think I did see one first one on trend mood and it was the top one in the photo that I should have being shared here and I was like oh okay like I get it I like that it's a smaller palette I just did a video on my favorite smaller eyeshadow palettes like um six nine twelve shade eyeshadow palettes you know a little bit smaller a little like more of a tighter color theme instead of kind of being all over the place so I was like I get it I like it but the first one I couldn't say I was like super hyped about because I was like oh, I kind of feel like I have a lot of those so once I saw that there's three different options I was like yes brilliant because it's kind of like taking the born to run palette and I don't think like I see all of the born to run palette amongst these three palettes I feel like maybe if there was one more it might have been like perfect but you know as I I think it's pretty cool so the top one with kind of like the reds and the pinks even though I really do like those shades I just feel like I have a lot in my collection the second two I'm actually more interested in there's one with um, it has a purple in there it looks like maybe it has some cool tones from the color or from the picture that I'm looking at and then the last one kind of has that pop of blue in there that uh, that we need but I, I'm almost kind of more interested in the in the middle one I'll be curious to get the prices on these but I really think that this is a great idea the born to run palette was very very well received from a lot of people it seems like but it is a larger palette with 21 shades and it is $49 so that is more expensive so I like the idea of coming out with these smaller palettes you know I'm sure that these will not be $49 um, and to have something that's a little bit more has you know more of like a, a color theme going on I think this is a really good idea and I'm definitely interested for the most part right in that that middle one or else the third one also kind of intrigues me too but I think that's pretty cool I don't know if that's part of a holiday release I didn't notice that but I'm gonna try like I've been doing the past couple of weeks here to share about kind of regular releases and then move over into the holiday releases but sometimes I get a little sometimes we just do our own thing you know so next up, I definitely got a ton of tags on this one, and I even had people tagging me on the Twitter about this. Mostly I get my tags on Instagram. You know, I'll get, you know, people will send them to like to my DMs or just tag me on the photos, but I feel like it's a really big deal when people start tagging me over on Twitter. And this is from Tarte Cosmetics. Uh, the, um, when I was getting tagged over on Instagram, it was on the hotfired.makeup account, so I will have that elicit down below. Um, reading from their account, it says, coming soon from Tarte Cosmetics, their new Tardis Pro Remix, the boldest and brightest palette yet, which features 20 all new artistry shades and formulas powered by Mother Nature. It says, stay tuned to find out more of when it launches. So, not sure when it's gonna launch, not sure the price. The other Tarte Pro palette, I believe, was in the $50 range, maybe like $52, $54 something along those lines so more of an expensive palette that palette I felt like had fairly good reviews uh, if I'm remembering correctly I feel like I was hearing good things about it I never purchased it for myself I remember I bought it and put it into a giveaway but I never purchased it for myself looking at this palette I would not have guessed that it was from Tarte if I could not see Tarte uh, stamped in on the shadows if that wasn't there my guess like kind of my first thought was like this kind of looks more like an urban decay release almost so i was really uh quite shocked actually to get this from tarte one thing that i feel like we've been seeing a lot from tarte recently is a lot of neutrals a lot of softer eyeshadow palettes really more along that kind of line so i was i was pretty surprised when i saw this one i mean we have greens and yellows and purples and reds and of course um there is plenty of neutrals in there a lot of like kind of like those softer uh lighter shimmer shades uh and then i like the the last row with the circle pans that kind of has a little bit of like different colors in there too 
I will have to say that this palette, I definitely, I like, I gave it a double take for sure. I haven't been purchasing from Tarte because I was just getting, I was just getting pretty like fed up with them. I'm not going to lie. I returned a bunch of their, their newer products that were coming out because either the quality wasn't there or like I've referenced the Clay Play 2 in the past. Um, it was kind of one of those, like they just changed a few shades from the Clay Play 1, literally stopped, slapped a sticker over it and called it a, new, a brand new product, a brand new release. And I went out and blindly bought it. And then when I got home, I was like, oh, I just basically bought the same palette that I already have in my collection. Neat. Um, so there was just a lot of, you know, stuff like that going on with Tarte and things that I just wasn't really fond of. So when that happens, I, I just kind of like scale back from buying them. So I really haven't purchased anything from Tarte. Probably the Clay Play 2 was, I think, the last item that I purchased from them and subsequently returned. What I'll probably do is watch the reviews on this. I don't know if this will be enough to get me to break my Tarte uh, no buy. When I took a break from Too Faced, I took a break from them for over a year. Like it was a long time and I can't remember for sure when I purchased the Clay Play 2, but I don't feel like it's been a year yet. Maybe I'll go back through my videos and try to figure out when that was, but I don't know if this will be like enough to sway me but I'll definitely be open to hearing the reviews um, and all of that. I, I hope that it's good quality. I hope that's up there. I don't want to dislike anybody. I don't want to like not have to like any brand or whatnot. But I mean, it just happens. It, it is what it is. And, you know, when I returned three items in a row from Tarte, I was like, okay, you have to stop buying. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, stop doing this to yourself. Um, but I'll definitely be checking out the reviews where because it definitely looks interesting. And I like seeing something different. A lot of people have been asking for something a little bit different from Tarte and it doesn't have to mean that they're rebranding the entire brand and they're trying to turn into something else but for a very long time it felt like release after release after release was like the same item with just like a little bit of a tweak to it and it just gets kind of like I understand that this is your, your aesthetic and that's that's what your brand is about but it is nice to do something just a little bit on the different side every once in a while um you know, maybe just to keep people interested. I don't know. That's kind of my thoughts on that one, but that's what I'm thinking about this new palette from Tarte. I'll be curious to get, you know, some more details on it and the price on it for sure and all of that, but you'll have to let us know what you thought of that one if you're interested in it from Tarte. It seemed like a lot of you were from the tags, and like I said, people are even chatting about it with me over on the Twitter. So, um, yeah, it seemed like you were pretty excited. Okay, so next up I have a release that I'm like so excited and like happy to see this and it is from ColourPop, our ColourPop section of the week, but I think that this is really cool because this is a curated palette that makeup just for fun, makeup dot just dot for dot fun. I will have her Instagram listed down below, but she is, uh, she curated her own like single shadows from ColourPop and it's now for sale. So this is Amanda and I actually got to meet her at Gen Beauty. It was the, the Sunday that I was there. Um, Ashley Clady and I teamed up with Makeup Molly and the three of us went and then Molly found Amanda there and then they were going to go to the last day together. So the four of us all went. I don't know, it was a crazy thing, but we had so much fun and it was so nice meeting her and her Instagram is so beautiful. Like she has the most beautiful flat lays. Definitely check out her Instagram, but I'm scrolling through over the weekend and I'm like, wait, what? Like I had to do a double take at her post. It said, get colorful with ColourPop Cosmetics. You can shop this makeup just for fun palette curated by yours truly on the ColourPop site right now. It says, get my perfect mix of warm tones and happy brights, 24 pressed powder shadows plus a large palette for only $44 and it's $106 value. Also, you can use the code AMANDA5 to save the $5. That's so freaking cool and I'll have a photo of it. She has a beautiful photo with the shade names on it. There's lots of yellows in there. Um, there's some really, it's a mixture between matte and the shimmers. This looks so beautiful and I have said before that I am not great at buying single shadows because I'm kind of like, I, I, I don't really know how to like place them in a palette. Like I need that kind of stuff done for me already. And this is done, like I can, I mean, I don't know if the palette would come like this. I'm assuming it would come with just like the palette and then the little ones in each of their you know, little packets or whatever, and you would put it in there, I would literally pull up this photo and go off of it because I think that's so cool. And I love her choices and I love, I see some purples in there and some oranges. This is so cool. And for $44, like that is crazy amazing. And I'm just so excited for her. And she was so nice. Def I mean, check her out, check the palette out. I think that's really cool. And it's exciting for me to see something like this because you know, we talk about it a lot. We talk about it in the comment section. I, you know, it gets brought up, especially a lot in the Willie Bite videos. But we see the same people collaborating with the same big brands. And, 
you know, there's so many people out there and so many great people and I, this made me so excited. So a huge congratulations to Amanda. That's amazing. Uh, I am, I'm planning to pick this one up because I just think it's really freaking cool. So next up here, I have some news about, about Bite Beauty. I'm so excited. This is the Bite Beauty Astrology Collection in minis. So I got a lot of tags on this, I think because I love mini products <laughs> for sure. But I've also been trying to include the Bite Beauty Astrology Lipstick every single month in the Will I Buy It videos when the new one releases. I chatted about the one in Aries, which I'm in Aries. I really want that lipstick and it sold out. So I was getting a ton of tags. Like now you can get Aries and you can get other mini lipsticks and you like this formula, etc. Because I really do like the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. So this is the, uh, the all of the astrology in a vault box. It is limited edition. It's going to be $75. It also includes the newest shades that haven't launched yet, which are Sagittarius and Capricorn. It says it will be available on the website. Oh shoot, it's available at Sephora now? Hmm. Okay, well I missed that part. I thought it was coming still in a little bit. Okay, so it's apparently it's on, it's on sale now. Okay, so you get minis of the, the 12 different lipsticks. I was interested in this. I was interested because I could get the Aries one also, but I I don't I wouldn't use all of these lipsticks. And it's like the shades that I wouldn't use. I don't know for sure, like even if I could gift them to people who that was their sign, I don't know if they would want that shade specifically. So I'm like is it smart to spend $75 because you really want one mini lipstick at that? Like Yes, there's a few other shades that I would probably wear, but I still don't think, if I'm thinking the $75 price tag, I still don't think I'm going to get enough out of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if, like, if you look at this entire collection and you're like, yes, 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 and yes, I mean, hey, if there's someone that you can go in with it, fantastic. Uh, I think it's really interesting that they launched the vault box. I don't know. I don't have, like, hard feelings on it either way. Like, I think it's cool. Um... But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and skip over it just because I have a huge lipstick collection. The thought of buying like a, a larger lipstick collection like this kind of freaks me out because I'm like, where would I put everything? Uh, but it's really neat and I was so excited to get so many tags on it. That's always like really cool to me. Well, this is kind of an interesting uh, collaboration. Uh, so Mickey Mouse is turning 90 and for the celebration, there's a collaboration between Maybelline and Disney. It includes two City Mini eyeshadow palettes. Uh, we also have the Super Moisturizing Complexion Perfector in three different shades and also a lipstick set with six mini red lipsticks. I see that it will be, be available in November and uh, I don't see any uh, specific prices on anything so I'm not for sure about that. So interesting collaboration, another one with Disney, very interesting. Uh, I feel like Mickey Mouse, like diehard fans will probably want to pick this up. For me, I don't love the City Mini palettes from Maybelline. I've tried a couple out in the past and I just don't love them and I don't feel like looking at either one that I feel really like I have to get it. The lipstick set with the six mini lipsticks, um, most of them are red or it says all red, but some of the shades in there look kind of like more of like a deeper pink or like a brighter pink. So I don't think I would get on with the shades a ton. The packaging is super cute on everything, but it's not a collaboration that I feel very strongly about that I feel like I absolutely have to get. Again, I think like collectors and like super fans of this will be really interested in it. But for me, and especially knowing, especially with the eyeshadow palettes, knowing that I didn't totally love the quality of them, I feel like I can go ahead and skip on this. But I'd love to know your thoughts on the collection um, and what you think about Mickey Mouse turning 90. Well, how exciting. Happy birthday to Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it just got kind of dark and started raining. Pretty pretty hard right now so that's a bummer uh but anyways to keep moving on uh, another release from Maybelline they're coming out with the matte bar eyeshadow palette it says inspired by the streets of NYC and includes 12 warm matte shades from soft and neutral to sun baked to brilliance and it is going to be $9.99 I don't know if it's available now um if it is I will have it linked down below but it definitely gave me the like Urban Decay the mini naked heat vibes the petite heat vibes uh definitely reminded me of that so you have the all matte palette I mean it looks nice like it, it it looks like something that I would enjoy wearing on my eyes but I also it's just one of those palettes that there was a huge trend and these warm toned eyeshadow palettes for a very long time so I just feel like I have this one and I also feel like it would be something that I wouldn't reach for a ton I actually didn't love the um 
the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, it just wasn't for me. I felt like I was getting the same looks a lot of it, so you know, that might be something that would happen with this one. But again, I just have too much that would be too similar in my collection for me to really want this one. So I would pass over, but $10, I mean, I don't think that's a bad price at all. Um, but for me, it's just not something that I think would really interest me. Okay, so next up, I'm not gonna lie, this release kind of gave me a pause and I had to keep looking at it to make sure I was reading everything correctly, but this is from Milk Makeup. It's a collab with the Wu-Tang Clan and it features a collection of eight luxe lipsticks. And I was like, what? And I had to actually click on the post on Trend Mood to make sure this was the correct Wu-Tang Clan I was talking about. So we have the longwear lip colors, each named after the eight earthly elements of the I Ching Tree Grams. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. They're housed in a specially made component revealing a custom sculpted dragon opening, upon opening. So, and then you have a list of the different shades. Everything has a real like high shine color to them. Um, I saw some of the swatches on someone's like, someone did an unboxing of them and I saw the, the swatches of them and they are, are very like shiny, very vibrant lip colors, but they're $55 each. Like, I can't, no, 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 I can't do that. Um, you know, I've already had to find the, the courage inside myself to purchase a, what, $34, $38 Pamagraph lipstick, and uh, I wasn't absolutely blown away, so I don't know, $55 for a lipstick. I can't do it. I think that's like Tom Ford prices. And I just, like, I understand it's a collaboration, but I don't understand why Milk Makeup is jumping up their prices to that extreme level. I really like their lip colors. I talk about cream a lot. Um, I really enjoy that, and I think that's, like, $22. So, again, I understand collaboration. A lot of time collaborations are priced higher because you also have to pay the collaborators, but, like, $55. I mean, the packaging is great I, I mean it looks really cool and stuff but I just I can't that's gonna be a no for me that's good I don't really know what else I should say there that's just gonna be a no for me I cannot afford something like that so this I probably got the most amount of tags on and it's so crazy how nervous I get to talk about collaborations with other youtubers because people really come at you no matter what you're not gonna buy something, you're a terrible person. You are gonna buy something, you're a terrible person. I mean, it's just, well, it just is what it is. So I, it's like not even fun anymore to have to include these because you just know that you're gonna get came for in the comments, no matter what way you do it. Because for some reason, we just can't have differing opinions on YouTube. Okay, so this is the new Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. This is from Morphe and James Charles. It's remodeled after the 39A palette. Um, okay, so this guy is going to be $39. There's also a brush collection, which honestly, I, I don't even know if I knew that till right now. I thought we were just talking about the um, eyeshadow palette, but I think for this one, I'm just going to focus on the palette. It's going to be available November 13th. Um, you can use codes. It will also be coming to Ulta Beauty, I think, at a later date. So I'm just going to be focusing on the eyeshadow palette here. Now, I'm the, the actual palette, if we're just, can we just talk about the palette for right now? Looking at the palette, I think the design of it is interesting. I know, I feel like the 39A, I feel like that was one of those that got a lot of really good reviews from a lot of people um, that Morphe released. So you kind of have like two rows of the regular eyeshadow palette and then the middle row are all larger shades, uh, which I definitely think is interesting. For me, I just... I know when I was getting tags on this, a lot of people were saying, I know that you're not into big eyeshadow palettes right now, but like, what do you think about this one? This is just, it's too much for me at this moment. I said when I was filming my favorite small palettes right now that I was actually really surprised at the very small amount of smaller palettes I had in my collection and how many, you know, 16, 18, 21, 35 eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection and that I want to try to get my eyeshadow palette collection down to those smaller palettes because it's my personal preference at this moment. So this one is just too much for me. It's a, it's a really pretty palette and I mean it has so many shades in here from the yellows, the greens, the blues, the purples, the pinks, the reds, the oranges, the shivers, the mattes. I mean there's like something 
for everyone in this palette but for me I just don't feel like I need it if I take away that it's from Morphe if I take away that it's a collaboration if I take away all that stuff just looking at this eyeshadow palette I don't need it but also I genuinely don't want this in my collection right now it's not what I'm trying to where I'm trying to go especially when thinking about my eyeshadow palette collection so I hope that makes sense. So next up we actually have another collaboration. This is between Sigma Beauty and Beauty Bird. It says together they created this beautiful colorful palette with a marble and rose gold design. It's the Dream Palette. Sigma X Beauty Bird. It has 18 new shades and also two highlight shades. It has foils, mattes, and shimmer finishes plus a dual ended rose gold brush which has the E38 diffuse crease and also the E58 cream color. Mm, I do like the E58 like a lot. Okay, so this is going to be $49. It says it'll be available November 9th online at Sigma. I am a Sigma affiliate. I do have my code with them, which is just Samantha. I do get some of their new products. I don't get everything. Um, I don't get like everything that they send out in PR. I do get a lot though. I really have no idea if this is coming to me or not. Uh, a lot of times I'll get like a shipping alert that I'm getting something from Sigma, but it doesn't tell me what's inside of it. So I just, I really never know. This palette does look really pretty. I like the packaging on it. I like kind of that marble vibe. I like that it comes with a brush. I mean, Sigma Beauty to me, that's what's known for brushes. So I think that that part is pretty darn cool. Um, so I like that it comes with a brush. I don't love double-ended brushes because they're harder for me to store, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so I will say when I first looked at it, I honestly, once again, got Born to Run vibes. I feel like so many palettes since Born to Run came out, that's kind of like one thing that we go back to. I feel like the same thing happened with like Modern Renaissance. Another palette would come out, oh, it looks like ABH Modern Renaissance. You know, I feel like that's what I do with the Born to Run a lot. So I definitely get those kind of vibes. So again, I'm not sure if it's something that I absolutely totally need in my collection. Again, it has the 18 shades. So it's just a little bit more than I'm wanting, um, like where I'm trying to put my focus for my makeup collection. But I think that it looks really pretty. Again, $49, you would probably be, you know, if you're into using codes, you'd probably be able to get the 10% off, which is great. I just don't think it's something that I would need for myself that I would want to purchase for myself. Again, I don't know if I will get this in PR. If I do, would you guys want to see a video on it? Or are you like, no, it's okay. I would love to know. Um, again, I think it's pretty. I like the marble packaging of it, and I really do like that it comes with a brush. I think that's very smart for Sigma to do with their releases. A congratulations to Beauty Bird for being able to do this collaboration. We have another eyeshadow palette. <sighs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as I can. Um, but I told you, I thought that there was going to be a lot going on this week. But another eyeshadow palette, a lot of people seem very excited over this. This is from Dominique Cosmetics. Her new eyeshadow palette, which is called Berries and Cream. And it is going to be $44, available on November 16th, I believe. So Dominique Cosmetics was started by Kristen Dominique, who is a YouTuber. She was available in Ulta and now Sephora. I think it's now it's just Sephora. I don't know. I can't, I can't always keep up the best. But it'll probably be available at one of those retailers at some point. Uh, so this one, I was pretty excited because we saw the outer packaging first and I was really hoping I would see the inner packaging, the actual like shades and such before I sat down to film today's video because I didn't want to go off just the outer packaging because I would, wouldn't really know what to say besides like, I want to see the shades. It's a very pretty, it's definitely very berries and cream to me. I really get the vibe off of that. Her, um, so she came out with the Latte palette, which I own and I really like. I really enjoyed the quality. I was thinking about purchasing the Lemonade palette, but that one kind of got some mixed reviews and then something kind of went wrong in production and people actually had to get new palettes sent to them. So that was kind of weird. I ended up not purchasing that. I didn't get a ton of Lemonade vibes from that one and the Latte palette, like I kind of did, kind of didn't at the same time. I definitely get more of the Berry and Creams vibe in here. There is the new pan shape um, in these, which I don't, I guess, I mean, that's cool nothing crazy on my end. I like that you get a mirror. This one's really pretty. It's more, again, it's more shades than I feel like I'm really going for at this moment, but I really like that it has the specific color theme. That's another thing that I'm really interested in right now is not just getting a large palette with every single color in there, like a, a the rainbow palette. It's not what I'm super into. I like these kind of more focused ones. It's just easier for me to be able to create makeup looks, to open a palette, know what I'm doing. I really like that. So I'm interested in this one. I hope the quality would be more the latte palette versus the lemonade palette. Um, since there was a little bit of funkiness, I honestly would probably wait to see a couple reviews, see what people are saying, uh, and then decide if I'm gonna go for it or not. But I think it looks really pretty. I think she did a really good job with the color selection on this one. Uh, it caught my attention for sure, so I would love to know what you guys thought of it. But yeah, I'll definitely be watching for some reviews on that one. Next up, Milk Makeup is coming out with new Zodiac stamps. 
Okay, so these are astrology tattoo stamps. They are limited edition. It says a water resistant, transfer proof, temporary tattoo stamp available in all 12 signs of the zodiac. And these are going to be $12 each. So again, I got a lot of tags because I like to, you know, I talk about my zodiac sign a lot. I feel like I'm going to lose my voice. Uh, I'm an Aries. I actually have a real Aries tattoo on me. My dog's name is Aries and all of that. So I get it tagged on a lot of, you know, zodiac astrology themed products. I've never had a, a tattoo stamp like this. I've seen, I think Milk has done other ones like hearts and stars and things like that. Uh, I totally get why they would be releasing this. The Zodiac anything right now is super popular from makeup and jewelry, nail polish. I talked about the Kale polish at Zodiac line last week. Um, so it definitely makes sense to me. I I don't think I would get this. I'm not sure where I would stamp this on me. I, I mean, I know a lot of people do like the, the face stamps and stuff, but that's not necessarily me. So I just don't think I would need it, especially because I actually have a, a tattoo stamped on me. So I don't know. I just don't know where I would put it, I guess. <laughs> um, and I don't feel like it's something I necessarily mean, need. I mean, $12 and it's a fun piece. Like if this is something that you'd be super into, I think that's cool. But for me personally, if I'm going to be buying it, it, it just, I don't feel like I totally need it, you know? Um, okay, so I have one more regular release before I don't know how much holiday I'm going to try to fit in here because there's just a lot going on, but we also have another collaboration. This is between ColourPop. We got ColourPop going on. So this is between ColourPop and Bretman Rock. There are two parts of this collection. The inspiration is coming from the Filipino flag's color palette of red and blue. One part is called Lit. The other part is called Wet. A total of 12 items. We have glitters. We have the eyeshadow palettes, which are $12. Super Shock blushes, which are eight. There's satin lips and glossy lips. There's body glitter. Ooh, there's a lot going on. Okay, this is going to be available November 9th. I feel like I have other items from ColourPop that I'm more interested in purchasing right now. I really want to purchase that. Um, the single eyeshadows, like I said, I love the ColourPop single eyeshadows, and I love that there's that curated palette, that it comes with the single palette, that would be supporting someone who... I, I know and I really enjoy her. Um, I think that would be really cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and skip over this collection. I do like that the eyeshadow palettes, they each have eight different shades and they're more of that stronger color theme, which I think is really cool. A lot of these glitters, I would, I would more skip over the like body glitter. I just don't use things like that. The ultra glossy lips from ColourPop aren't my favorite. Um, but again, I think it's just I can only buy so much makeup at one time and there's just not enough from this collection that really called to me. And I would rather purchase that uh, the palette with the pressed eyeshadows at this time, but you'll have to let us know if you're planning on picking up anything from the ColourPop and Bretman Rock collection. I think a lot of people are very excited. I got a lot of tags on this one, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below and what products you're planning on picking up. All right, so I know this video is getting pretty darn long. It is also just getting darker and darker outside and the rain is coming down more and more. So I'm just gonna talk about a couple holiday things and then I'll just try to make sure th to include everything else in next week's video maybe next week won't be quite so crazy uh, but I did want to point these out because they're mostly just things that I'm really excited for but these are Sigma is releasing their holiday brush sets and I get so excited about these I love the boxes on them first of all I think it's super eye-catching These would make excellent uh, gifts if you're looking to uh, to gift to anyone so they have a bunch of different brush sets in here I will have them linked down below like I said earlier I'm the Sigma affiliate my code is Samantha if you want the 10% off Totally can, totally can't. Uh, but I wanted to mention the two that I am most excited about. So the first one is the All Eyes Mini Brush Set. So this is $19 and you get five mini eye brushes. So these are good for like traveling eye brushes because they're just smaller and easier to throw into your bag. So you get the E11 Eyeliner, the E15 Flat Definer, which I love, the E25 Blending, a favorite, the E38 Diffuse Crease, fabulous, the, e the E55 Eye Shading, one of my favorite uh, all over lid shades. So that's only $19 for those five brushes, which I think is pretty fantastic. Uh, and then also the other set, where is it? Uh, the Shade and Pop Brush Set. So this is $35. You do get full size brushes in here, but the three brushes that you get is the E30 pencil. I have so many of these. They are such a great pencil brush and something that I never knew I needed a pencil brush and so I, until I, I finally owned a pencil brush and I was like, oh, okay, great for lower lash line. You also get the E38 diffuse crease, another great brush like I just mentioned, and the E54 medium sweeper. This is really similar to the E55, another great all over lid brush. Uh, so you get three really great eye brushes in there for the $35, but they have different sets too for face, for eyes. Uh, they have one that has their Sigmagic 
brush cleaner in there, which is a really good brush cleaner. Honestly, the only one that I don't recommend the set wise is not a brush set, but it's the opposite to track lip duo. It has their new liquid lipsticks in there from the Viper collection. So you get, I believe it's the Venom and Anti Venom. Let me make sure. Yeah, the Venom and Anti Venom liquid lipstick. I actually mentioned these in my makeup monthly that I was not a fan of the Anti Venom lipstick, which is really surprising to me because I've loved the Sigma liquid lipsticks in the past, but something about this formula was a lot different. So that's really the only set that I wouldn't recommend, but I just wanted to point that out because um, I think that these A are great sets that you could buy but also really nice uh, sets if there's anyone who's really into makeup brushes wants more makeup brushes etc they would make really good gift sets so the other one that I wanted to mention here is from Makeup Geek Cosmetics and I got quite a few tags on this one so I thought that's why I would put this one in here um, to be honest I don't have like the best picture yet of this palette but I will insert what I what I can find in here this is the Stroke of Midnight uh, collection I believe it is there's a new eyeshadow palette also a mini gloss set and it looks like Makeup Geek is also going to be coming out with some lashes which has me pretty excited. So the eyeshadow palette looks to be a nine pan palette and a lot of the tags I was getting was like look a nine pan palette. It's so exciting when people like not that like I, I understand that like people are watching my videos and I can see the views and the comments and all of that but sometimes when it's like people really hear what you're saying and like what you want or just like that they remember that about you I don't know. It's a really cool feeling. So when I was getting like, oh, this is a nine pan palette, I was like, that's so cool that people know that that's like what I'm interested in right now. The palette definitely looks really pretty. Uh, I like the outer packaging on it for sure. I just kind of want to get maybe a little bit better of a photo on it and maybe some swatches because some of the shades actually look a little bit kind of unique from this, this photo that I have. So I definitely would be interested in catching or, you know, being able to see the full palette and to see the price on it. But uh, it definitely has my attention right now, but I'll, I'll wait to see like the price and everything on it and the full palette. Um, the glosses I'm not super interested in. I think I've tried Makeup Geek glosses in the past and they just didn't really excite me. I'm not a huge, huge gloss lover and I feel like for someone saying that I have a lot of glosses in my collection. So that's kind of crazy. But I'm also very interested in trying out the lashes. I love lashes. I love finding new lashes, um, new lash brands that I love. So I'm definitely, honestly, probably like most interested in checking out the uh, false lashes once those come out. So I will definitely be checking those out. Um, but yeah, you'll have to let us know what you think about this uh, new collection coming out from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. But other than that, that's where I'm going to end today's video. I guess I have to let me know what you thought of all the products that I mentioned in today's Will I Buy It video. I know this one was probably a longer one. Next week might be longer as well because there's actually still some more products I wanted to put in here. But I really didn't want, like, going over 30 minutes, I really try not to do that. Because I know it just gets so long and it's also really, really long for me to edit back <laughs> and all of that. So I still hope that you were able to enjoy, enjoy today's video. Let me know what you thought in it down in the comments down below. What has your attention and what are you planning to pass over? But other than that, if you guys did enjoy today's video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.